Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get clean looking light maps inside of Unreal Engine by optimizing your UVs on your static meshes. So I'll show you a few things we can tweak inside of the Unreal Engine, and then I'll show you how to import custom UVs for your light maps in your 3D software. Firstly, you want to set the light map resolution of your meshes inside of Unreal. So you just select your mesh and you scroll down on the details panel over here. You have override light map resolution. Make sure you want to set that something to a higher resolution. The higher res this map is, the better the shadows will look and the less uh, artifacting you'll get. You don't want to increase the map size too much as it will increase memory usage and build times dramatically. So that's when we want to go in and optimize our, optimize our UVs. So you can see with the, the window blinds here that I have a resolution of 512, but you can still see that it's quite uh, low res in certain areas and that's because of the UVs. So when you import meshes into Unreal, Unreal will automatically generate a second UV channel which is used for your light maps and you can view that by opening up your static mesh just by double clicking and you can view here under UV, uh, UV channel 1. So you can see this is a, your UV layout that the light maps will be baked onto. So this UV channel layout here is going to be different from the one that you've created in your 3D software, as this is the one that Unreal has generated automatically upon importing. You can disable that when you choose to import your meshes. So you may have instances where your mesh has multiple UV channels, more than the two that is just displayed here. And you can change which one Unreal will store or use the UVs for its light maps under light map coordinate index. So mine is currently set to one. So it's using this channel here, one. So if I show you another mesh, for example, uh, this painting here, um, you can see how in channel zero, I have the UVs that I made in my 3D program. And then channel one, which is the ones that Unreal Engine generated based off this one. So when you have a more detailed mesh like these blinds over here, you can see how all these UV islands are really tiny. It's because the padding is so big on each island. And you can actually change that in Unreal right here under uh, these build settings. So you have a minimum light map resolution. If we set that to something like 256, apply changes, we can see now that it properly utilizes the, the UV space to get less wasted space. So after changing the padding of the blinds mesh here, I uh, rebuilt the light. So you can see how it's already improved just a bit without even changing the light map resolution. You can see that there's still some bad shadows here and that's where we would have to probably increase the light map resolution up to 1K. So at this point, that's usually enough to get good looking light maps, but there may be instances where Unreal will generate um, bad UVs on your light map UV channel. And that's where we need to go into your 3D software and create a custom channel and import it back into Unreal. I have the blinds mesh here in Max. So I'm just going to create a custom UV for it. It's going to add a Unwrap UVW. Open the UV editor. And you can see, yep. You can see how this is my original UVs. If I switch it to UV channel number two, we get this ugly looking UVs here. So I'm just going to use a flattened mapping. We get this result. I'm just going to select this island here, put it over the edge, and make, make it like that. Now I'm just doing that so we can see that the custom UVs have properly been imported. We can see this big red island over here. So I'm just going to collapse this and export it out and back into Unreal Engine. Back to Unreal Engine, I have the blinds mesh open here. So the UVs are still the same. So this is the generated UVs that I had from before. And all I'm going to do is just re-import the base mesh. I'm going to select the new blinds that I exported. X. So you can see straight away that these are the custom UVs because you can tell from the big red 
island there. Um, and you can also see that there's now additional channel. So Unreal Engine is still generating UVs. Uh, you can disable this by coming to the build settings here. And there's generate light map UVs. So this will generate every time you click apply or re-import the mesh. So I'm just going to untick that and click apply. And you can see now the generated UVs are no longer being generated and they don't appear. So now we have these custom UVs. So we just want to make sure that the light map coordinate index is set to one. So it's targeting this channel. So it's going to start using this channel to build the lighting onto. So importing custom UVs is the best option if Unreal Engine isn't treating your generated UVs nicely. Um, if you have good UVs and you have high light map resolutions, the next solution would be to split up your meshes. So for example, I have these two walls are split. Uh, this couch comes in pieces. You can see how the top cushions are its own mesh, the base and the sides are its own mesh. That way I know that it will get sufficient amount of light map resolution. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or need help on the subject, uh, you can message me through my 3D community discord. I'll be happy to respond there. Also, at the end of my tutorials, I'll be giving away random assets that I've made, uh, like this couch. Uh, so you can download that down in the description below. Thanks for watching and take care.